Hello, everyone. If you can hear me um, kindly, uh, use the comment section. If you can hear me kindly, put, um, tell me now so I can hear you. Put it in the comment section and tell me where you're watching from. So I'm going to be doing um, a very brief, like taking this live section is going to be quite brief. I'll be sharing how you can use chat GPT to do, do a book summary that you can use, you can publish on media. So um, let me see your comments. If you can hear me, if you can see my screen, put it in the comment section. If you can see the slide that is in front of you, um, kindly indicate the comment section. This is my first time of doing using StreamYard, so I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if anyone can hear me. Please, someone should help me out. Put in the comment section if you can hear me, and um, tell me if you can see my screen, my slide. I'm showing this slide on my screen. If you can see it, if you can see it, um, help me to type what you can see on the screen. Type it in the comment section. Let's see. I'll be. Like I said earlier, I'll be talking on how I'll be teaching you a very short hack, a very brief hack, simple, straight to the point, how you can use um, chat GPT to do a book summary and that you can now attach to a book affiliate program and probably make money, you understand? So let me see if I have any comments. Okay. Um, she was saying and she can hear me, but no slide yet. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I've not shared the screen yet. Let me see. All right. Let's see if, um, let me know if you can see the slide yet. If you can see the slide, let me know. Can you see the slide now? Okay, thank you, Chima. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is my first time of using StreamYard. I just had to, um, I had to learn it by force. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sharon. Sharon said you can see the slide. And then please tell me where you're watching from. I'll be very practical about this. We're going to make this very practical. If you have any question while I'm doing um, the presentation, kindly put in the comment section. So tell me where you're watching from. Tell me the part of the world. If you're watching from United States of Abba or Kano or United States of Italy, anywhere, you know, put it in the comment section. Okay, Miracle said um, she's worked watching from Nigeria. Thank you, Miracle, you're welcome. Um, Ikiti, Nigeria, yes, 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 you're highly welcome, you're highly welcome. You can invite one or two persons because you can just tag them. Because this thing, uh, almost everyone can do this. You just need to be, just need to get small sense. <laughs> you understand? It's going to be quite simple, but you just need to be smart too, you understand? So Kojo um, said is watching from Ghana. And Sharon said she's watching from Nigeria. Sharon is my very good friend. And um, who else again? One more person should tell me where they are watching from so that we can kick off as soon as possible. I think StreamYard is, StreamYard is awesome. Like I'm enjoying the, the, the software, the app, the platform, sorry. So um, one more person and we're going to kick off soon. Okay, why we wait for the one person? To drop their location. Let's do this. So this is a, as you can see um, on my slide, um, the topic is book summary plus chat GPT plus affiliate packaging. You know. So um, let me tell you what we're going to be basically doing. What I'll show you how to do. I've tried this before, but that was when chat GPT was not out. You understand? Uh, that was um, I think two years back. 
I was doing book summaries. I was doing it. I was using a medium, medium.com. So I was using medium.com to, to publish those book summaries. Then I'll now link it to, I'll now link it to um, an affiliate, like a book affiliate. But um, I lost my PC. I lost, I think, or it got faulty. I think it got faulty. So I lost the login to the, those accounts and everything. So since then, I've not done it. But I just came up with the idea that, okay, um, then I was doing it manually with my head, like I'll do the summary. So I was just, this idea just popped into my head, like you can do the same, you can teach people the same thing, but they can use chat GPT to do the summary instead of doing it manually. That means if you're not a writer, you can do this, like you don't need to be a writer. But back then, maybe if you're, if you're a writer, that's when you could achieve this better because you can do the book summary from your head. But um, AI, AI has really made life easy, right? If AI has made your life easy, put it in the comment section. Let me see. <laughs> okay, Chinyere Diki said she's watching from Nigeria. You're highly welcome. Yusuf said he's watching from Ekiti. You're highly welcome. So um, let's get um, to work. Like I said, if you have used AI before for anything, just put in the comment section that, yes, I've used AI for this, 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 or I've used chat GPT before. Even if you've not used chat GPT before, um, it's very easy to use. So let's get to work. Um, now, see the steps that we're going to, if you, if you can still see my slide, uh, notify, put in the uh, comment section, put in the noti uh, notify in the comment section, just tell me that now so I can see your slide. So these are the steps to get it done, right? Um, let me see if there are comments. Okay, okay. Could you see that um, I use AI for clipping long videos? Thank you so much. I'll get back to the comments. So let's get to work now. The steps to get it done. The first step is you need to create a Medium account. So um, let's go to my own Medium account. This Medium account that I'm using is not in my name. I have one in my name, right? I use this Medium account to test. I use it to test, how would I put this? I use it to test new ideas, you understand? So I use it to do a whole lot of testing. He's, um, he's, a, he's an American, I used an American name for this Medium account. I'm not using it for anything illegal. I'm using it to test, you understand? So we're going to go to my Medium account. So first off, what is Medium? Medium is like a, it's like a mini blog where you can go create a free account and share articles. You could share articles on anything. And if, you, if your articles are well written, you can rank on Google. Like your article can show on, like people can be looking for your article on Google and they are going to find, okay, let me show you, um, let me show you an example of what I mean. If you can see my medium, um, page kindly indicates okay so this is my medium page i if you can see i, I created this is not in my name like i said this is a, a parody account i use it to test um, one or two things on medium so as you can see on june 12th june 12th for the last time i made this post and uh, um, I was using it to test an affiliate program, an affiliate product that was promoting uh, a TikTok affiliate um, product. So you see, this is how Medium looks like. So if someone is searching for this, I don't know if anyone is seeing this screen that I'm showing now. I don't want to be... Can anyone see my Medium screen that, that is displaying? Can anyone see it? If you can see it, kindly indicate. I don't want to be talking to myself. Okay, let me believe that. Okay, yeah, yeah, could just say you can see it. So let's get to work. So let's say, for instance, someone types this topic, how to grow and monetize your TikTok account organically. If someone types this topic on Google, um, this article I wrote on media, about this on this topic would likely pop up, you know, as part of the search. You see, funny thing is this article was 
is written by Chad GPT. This article that I'm showing you now, you see. So it was not from my brain entirely. I just had to edit one or two things. So this is basically what I'm trying to um, show you. So the first thing you should do, please create a Medium account. Just go to medium.com and then um, create an account. Then the second thing, I'm going to come back to Medium. The second thing you should do is you're going to type um, book affiliate programs or let's say yeah let's say book affiliate programs uh you're going to see um a number of them see what see some of them this this one is showing um, showing us nine best book affiliate programs of 2023 so so let's say we we go through this uh, you can pick any of these affiliate programs and um, use you can pick any of them. There are lots of them, but this was the one I was using there. Thrift books. So um, let's go to let's go to open another page and type thrift books affiliate program. Right. So um, when we click on that, um, you can go there and sign up. This is just one of the affiliate programs. Right. You just go there, open your whatever, open your affiliate account, and sign up. You know, take your link. So the most important thing is getting your link and doing the next. The next step is um, going to be um, how you can generate your book summary and uh, publish it on Medium. If anyone is even understanding or enjoying what I'm doing here, kindly put in the comment section. <laughs> Tell me now. So yes, I'm following. Tell me I'm following, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following. So tell me if non so I'm following or non so I'm not understanding. You're talking of points. <laughs> can you can you can you hit the nail on the head or can you do this? Okay, Sharon said she's following. That means I'm talking, I'm not talking of points, right? So um Kodo is following too. Thank you so much. Uh Yusuf is following, thank you. And um okay, let's go back to our affiliate program. So this is Thrift Book Affiliate Program, right? I'm not going to sign up for the sake of time. So you can do this on your own. It mustn't be Thrift Books, right? You could use uh, any of these programs that are that are listed here. You see, there are other ones, and you see the Calendar Club, Second Cell. These are all affiliate programs. You see, so you could do. And pick the one that some of them, some of them, they don't accept um, Nigerians. I think most of them do. Most of them are open to Nigerians. So you're just going to. This is just nine of them. There are lots of them. If you, if I, if I go, if I have to scroll down, you would find them. Or that you see this one, top eight. This one is saying top fifteen best book affiliate program of strength. So there are lots of them you can use for this, right? But the most important thing is to get the tip, the strategy. You know, you can now work on what you want to do with it. <sighs> All right. Okay. Let's get to work. So we've talked about signing up on an affiliate program, which is the second thing you should do. So the third thing is visit ChatGPT and get your book summary. So let's do this. This is going to be very interesting, right? So let's go to ChatGPT. Um, if you don't have a card GPT account, um, you just go and type open AI. Just type open AI chat GPT. <laughs> type it on Google. You're going to um, see the link to sign up. It's free, right? So let's go to chatgpt.com and see if we can do something practically. So for the sake of this um, presentation, for the sake of this presentation, I'm going to use a. I'm going to use a romance book. You know, you could use any book out there. You could use religion. You could use um, business. You could use health. You could use. You could use any of them. I don't know. My chat GPT is having network issues. Uh, let me see if I can load it again. I'm sorry. So while it's loading, let me see if I have some comments to attend to. 
Okay, TYC is following. Thank you so much. Um, Ajara said, I don't know if Ajara is a female or a male, but Ajara is following. That's the most important thing. <laughs> so let's get back to chat GPT and see if it has loaded. Okay, it's still loading. I don't know why. Okay, um, now, like I said, I'll be using romance books for this um, presentation. So I'm, I'm going to type and you give me a list of the best 10 romance books of all times, right? The reason why you're using, I'll tell you the reason why you're using the best or like the 10 best or the 20 best, you could use 20 best, you could use 10 best is because people search these summaries, like people, people go to Google and search summaries of books because the reason why they search, they want to know if it's, if it's an interesting book that they are going to probably purchase or probably read and purchase, you understand? So you're just giving them, you're giving them a summary to what they are probably looking for. So it's just like a book, sorry, a movie summary, like a movie review. If you want to watch a movie, you would want to go to Google and maybe type the name of the movie and see the summary to see if it's something that is going to interest you. If you have done that before, kindly put in the comment section. Say, yes, I've done it. I've checked for a movie review before. So this is similar, right? So let's click on enter and see what chat GPT is going to give us. I don't know if this is a network problem, but let's see. I don't know why it's delayed. Okay, let's wait. Let me see if I have some comments to attend to. Okay, let's go back to chat GPT and see. I don't know why it's causing this. I sincerely don't have an idea, but let me see if I can reload. Wow, this is this is annoying. It's as if they are having service issues. I don't know why this is happening. Why now? Why, 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 why? Okay, this is annoying. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why this is happening. Let's see if we can use Google Bad. Uh, Google Bad is uh, the Google version of uh, what chat gpt does but i would have preferred chat gpt because it gives um, comprehensive answers but let's see let's try google bad if you want to try google bad you can try chat gpt later maybe it's going to work from your end i don't know why it's not working here at the moment so let's go to google bad um, and see um, how we can do the same thing on google bad so let's say can you give me a list of the 10 best romance books. You could say romance novels or romance books of all time. When it does that, All right, so as you can see, it has generated um, 10 best romance books. It even added the year. This one was written in 1813, and um, this other one was written in 1936, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. So let's pick one of these books and summarize it quickly. So let's say we pick um, this, this Gone with the Wind by Mar Margaret. Mitchell, let's say this is what we pick, right? Okay, let me copy it. So we come back to the prompt and then um, paste it again. You can you can do exactly the same thing on chat GPT. So let's say um, I need a summary of this book, 
right? Then when you do that, you're going to add something like make key activating and interesting. If you're seeing my screen, if you're following me, kindly type, I'm seeing your screen and I'm following so that um, I would not be talking to myself. So make it captivating and interesting. And interesting to the readers. You know, you can find your own twist. You know, just the reason why you're doing this is so that it's going to be, the AI is going to make it very interesting. You know, you can say make it captivating with a touch of a human tone. You could, you could twist it, you could work on that. So let's see what bad would give us, and Google bad would give us um, as our response. I've not used Google bad for this before. It was chat GPT that I tried early this morning with it. But let's see. I'm sure Google bad is going to come up with something awesome. So let me see my comment section. Okay. Um, Haj Hajara said yes. Yeah, um, he's seen my screen. I don't know if he's a he or a she. Okay. Um, Richard saying, you're doing a great job. Thank you, Richard. God bless you, I appreciate. Um, Blessing Andrew said, well done. God bless you, I appreciate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everyone that has joined this live stream, I uh, really, I really appreciate you guys. See what um, Google Bad has given us so far. Okay. So as you can see, we've gotten a summary. This is a summary to the book, right? This has summarized the book. So someone can read this summary and the person would know what the book entails, like what is what the content of the book entails. So what now see see where see what we're going to do with this. When you take this summary, hmm, you're going to um we're going to generate a picture, an image, right? With AI too. I didn't add that to the presentation, but I just remembered now. Uh, we're going to add a, an image to this present to this um, summary so that it's going to look very it's going to look good, right? Then we're now going to add the links of our of our that link that you took from any of those book affiliate programs that you that you registered on that you signed up on. You're going to take those link that link and insert in between these books. But let's do something before we talk about inserting and the rest of them. Let's hold on on bad we're going to come back and copy this let me do something please uh, after this live section come back and watch this so that you're going to implement forget about implementing now and everything or writing notes just follow me later you're going to watch it all over again and implement step by step right so let's get back to thrift you need to find if they have this book on thrift or any other affiliate that you're signing up so any book summary that you're doing, if you pick a book summary that you want, a book that you want to summarize on, the first thing you should do is to go to your affiliate, um, your book affiliate program, go to their search bar and type that the name of that book. So you would know if they have the book in their bookstore, right? So let's do this. Um, so this is gone with the wind. We're going to type, uh, we're going to, we'll go to, I'm using three stores, three books, sorry, as my example. So we'll go to three books. We'll go there, you come to this option. So this is this this is going to display their home page. So when we get to their home page, you know, you come to the search and you paste that name. You're going to find the uh, okay, let's. I think they have it here, they should. So this is it, Gone with the Wind by, by Margaret Mitchell, right? This is an $8.79. So I don't know, I've forgotten how much they pay their affiliate users or so, I've forgotten. But like I said, there are lots of them. You could do the same thing on other affiliate, um, book affiliate programs. So. This is for eight point something something. Maybe your commission might be two dollars or one. I don't know. You understand? So you um, when you're registered with this um, affiliate program or any other one, so you can take the affiliate link 
you understand? You can take the affiliate link for this book, especially for this book. That is what you're going to use in publishing or media, right? So um, let's go back to Google Bad and copy this. summary so we've copied it let's go back to medium.com when you go to your medium account uh, you need to use a pc for this i don't know if medium um, has an option to use it on mobile if anybody has tried it before you can comment put it in the comment section maybe if there's a hack but i've not used it on mobile before it's only on pc because um, i think um, the option of posting something like publishing an article is um, is on PC alone, but I don't know. I might be wrong. So you go to write. You click on write. When you do that, you're going to see a space for you to publish your summary. The summary that we copied from Google Bad. You're going to publish it here. Let me see before we move on. Let me see my comment section. Okay. Wow. People are really following. That means I'm making sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now this is our, this is uh, our, uh, 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 what do they call it, uh, medium account, right? So let me let me copy, let me copy the the name of that book. I'm going to put the name of the book as a title. Then we're going to generate an AI image for the book instantly, sharp, sharp. So the name of the book is um, "Gone with the Wind." The one we summarized. So let's say we copy Gone with the Wind by Margaret, whatever. So we copy this name. Then we get back to our medium and come to the title and paste this name. Then we could say, uh, um, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Then uh, we'll put something like a bracket and write book summary. You see that? So easy. So, so easy. So we do this and write our book summary. Uh, we'll now come back here and copy the entire summary that we generated. Um, so we copy this. And come back here. So this is where you're going to post after you've done your you've um, posted your you've written your um, your title you come to tell your story and you paste the summary you see see how it appears so you could do uh, one or two maybe you could um if you want to if you want to do some fonts maybe let's say you want to change this paragraph maybe you just want to beautify it when you when you highlight on the particular paragraph you want to probably change some fonts on um, let's say you want to use italics for here you see what i you see what i mean so you can do this like you can make it beautiful you can work on you can you can use bold fonts and everything but that is not what we're doing here right now um gone with the wind by so we're going to insert an image here so that it's going to look so good so uh, let's go to <laughs> let's go to um, deepai.org. That is one of my favorite um, AI imaging image generation platform. You could use anyone. I think Chima Chima is into this. Um, it does a lot with AI um, imaging and the rest. So she can Chima. You can help us to if you're still listening. You can help us to suggest other platforms we can use to generate images with text so um let's let's get this done um so when you come to deepai.org you click on image when you click on image we're going to take that test the name of that um so you come to create an image from test prompt right so when you come to this part you type the name of that book gone with the wind The reason why you're using AI is because if you take the image from Google, it might be 
an image that has a copyright infringement on it. So you don't want Medium to ban your account because you're using an image that has a copyright, that is copyrighted. So the best thing is to generate it with AI, right? So go on with the wind book cover. That is our prompt. When you do that, we go to generate. So let's see what is going to come up with. We're now going to use it and insert inside our book summary on media. So that is going to look so good, right? So let's see what it comes up with. Let's see. So let me see if I have some comments. Okay, she went say that you can use, you can post on media using the Medium app. Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Wow, so let's get back to, um, okay, this is what AI generated. <laughs> let me generate another one. Uh, let me pick another one. But we can just pick any image and do this because of type, right? Um, but I just want to show you how to insert the image and everything so that it's going to look good. And then um, there's another thing you can do with images too. You can you can insert images in the paragraphs, you understand? So let's say um, we pick this image and download this image. Then we're going to go back to our medium and upload this image. You see? So you go back to medium. See where you're going to upload the image is going to is supposed to come in between the in between the title and the first paragraph. So when we get to this place, we you know see that plus sign. You see the plus sign by the left. You click on it and um, upload the same image. Um, get to download. So this is the image, and uh, I. I've uploaded it. You see, it's looking, it's looking quite good. You understand? <laughs> so this is it, right? So it's looking, it's looking, it's looking real good. So um, let's let me let me show you something else because the goal of doing this is to get people to read to the end, to make them to to, to enjoy what they are reading. So you could put one, two, three images, maybe um, something like uh, when the civil war breaks out. Scarlet's world is turned upside down. Her father dies. Her home is born to the ground, and this. So we could copy this, for instance. Hmm? Go to our deep ai.org and paste that paragraph. Let's see if it's going to come up with an image for us. So we're going to insert that image there. So when we insert that image, there, the reason why you're inserting it is to make the reading to be very interesting. So it's not going to be test, test, test alone, like written test, you understand? So let's generate and see if we can come up with something for us. So while we wait for the generation, let me see if I have some comments to respond to. Okay, Chiwen has dropped all the best AI generated She's doing a she's doing a big job. Like she's for the past six months or five to four months, you know, she she, she does a whole lot of prompts and it, uh, what do they call it? Generative AI. So yeah, she's been doing a whole a good job on Facebook. So um you can follow her to learn about more about um, generative AI. So let's get back to our test to image. Okay, see what is generated for us. <laughs> Okay, let's just manage this image. I just want to use it to show you something. Let's download it and um, get back here. So let's say we want to insert this image here, right? You could you could really work on getting a better image. Maybe something that is uh, related with this paragraph. If I'm if I if I ready, I could find something better one. But for the sake of time, let's just insert this one here. You see, so you're going to start inserting images that are related with each paragraph you could do that you just take out time and do it so that you're going to close cells because at the end of the day you want people to click on the um, link so now here another thing you're going to do another interesting thing you would do 
as in how to insert your links so that your links would uh, make a whole lot of sense. First of all, um, okay, I just remembered uh, that I don't have my affiliate link yet. <laughs> so we're just going to use a random affiliate link. Let me go to my Google Keep. I, I want to find one of my affiliate links and use for, so we can just use it for these people. Then later, you're going to do everything I said and use your own link. So let's go to, let's, sorry, let me find, my search so this is one of my okay this is one of my affiliate links i'm going to use it for the purpose of this um, presentation when you get yours you can use it how you want so let's get back here to see one thing you're going to do um after each maybe two three paragraphs hmm, you're going to add a space like give a space in like this maybe you've added your image okay let's do it this way so it's going to be practical um let's say after this image you come for this image Oh, okay, we could just put it before the image. So you, you could say something like, click here and get the full, or click here to read the full book, something like that, read the full book, right? If, is anyone following me? So you could write, click here to read the full book. Then when you do that, you highlight on this. When you highlight on it, you're going to see um that option would appear for you to insert the link the, your affiliate link inside here right so click here to read the full book sorry i didn't put book then you click on this icon this icon is for affiliates sorry i said for affiliate for links <laughs> like to insert link in a test so you're going to insert the link it's not going to be bare you, you understand don't make it bare don't just Click, put your link there and everything. No, you need to make this very professional. So you click on this link, this icon, then you paste your link inside. You see that? When you do that, your link is now inside this, this test. You understand? So you could make it bold. Let's make it bold so it's going to look good, right? So that is where your link is embedded in. You can do this again, let's say, Maybe here, you know, click. Yeah, you know that kind of thing to get to read the full book, something like that. You just put it, put it, put it like three, four, five times so that as they are reading, they could just click there, right? To read the full book. So we do the same thing. Yeah, we do the same thing. We bold it. So um, you're going to play a lot. You're going to do a whole lot of playing with um, Medium. Medium is very easy to use, like it's as easy as nothing. So you could do this and maybe um, see we get, we've get we gotten to the end of the book. Then you could write the same thing like, um, I hope you enjoyed reading Gone with the Wind. Or let's say if you enjoyed reading, we want to do our last call to action. Sorry. If you enjoyed reading on the summary, kindly click here to read the full book. You know, something like that. So read the full book see so um you could go come to this here and insert your link um, again now um please uh, try as much as you can not to use your affiliate your direct affiliate link here because me medium is going to ban your account you know you could try it and it will work for some time but they would limit your account or they will ban it 
So what you do is when you take your affiliate link, go to um, tinyurl.com. And what you're going to do there is you're going to um, shorten your link. So what it does it, what this platform does it, it's going to shorten your link, then it's going to cloak it, like it's going to hide what is behind the link. So um, these guys, they will know what <laughs> your link contains, right? So you come here and put your link, and um, let's say this is our link. But I did this particular link that you're seeing, I shortened it here. So um, let's just let's just believe that it's going to shorten it again, right? Okay, um, they they don't want to shorten it again because I shortened it here earlier. So you could do the same thing on tiny URL. You could use bits bitly bitly.com. There are lots of link shortingers out there. So that your shortened link is what you you use on Medium. So let's get back to Medium and publish what we just did. So when you're done, you come to publish. When you get to publish, uh, you could just type and. Um, you could type, um, let's say, so let's say book summary on that topics so that people, anyone that is trying to read will know, they will see these tags and then um, they can easily know what your book is talking about. You could say gone with the wind, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, when you do that, let's, let's be fast about this. So when we do this, we can, now publish, you can schedule for later, but let's publish for now and see what it looks like. Let me see if I have comments. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone is following. So let me, let's get back to Medium and see our publication. So you see how beautiful our publication looks, you see? You see, you see, so you see why I told you that images would really make it very beautiful. You see, so as you are reading, they are seeing things that are related, images that are related with different paragraphs. You can use any of the um, platforms that you were mentioned. Uh, I don't think deep, deep AI, they, they are not, deep AI.org, they are not really doing a good job these days. When I was using them back then, you know, so you could do the same thing like this, you understand? and publish so when you publish now i'll tell you something else you can do this same thing exactly the same thing on youtube the reason why i'm not adding youtube to this one is it's going to be lengthy but you can use the same method you understand create a book summary from chat gpt or bad google bad when you create it you go to um, um what do they call it you go to pickstory.com, pickstory.ai, this platform. Uh, let me see if I can type that platform. I think YouTube will, will work so well with this. I've not tried it. I've not tried it, but the idea just hit me just now. So you could go to pickstory.ai, and when you go to pickstory.ai, you take that summary and paste it. And there's a, there's a space that you can paste that um, um, that summary. It's going to convert it to a video for you, like a complete video. You just take that video, do one or two touches, and publish it on your YouTube channel. You could name your your YouTube channel Book Summaries, or maybe Book Summaries Universe, or Book Summaries whatever. You just summarize these books there. So what you do is you come to your description, your YouTube description, and put the same affiliate link. You know, like get the full book here, right? So your affiliate link, like I said, you're going to get it from the platform you signed up on. I hope and everyone is following me. You get it from that platform. Like you can do this same thing on YouTube. You can do it on, I'm even thinking it might work. It's going to work on Quora.com. It might, it might work, but Medium is like, the idea that came to me because I've done it in the past, you understand? And I made a few books, but I lost that account. I lost many things about the account and everything. I think I lost the PC and I lost the account. So what I'm saying is, in summary, this, if you take out your time, watch this replay, 
all over again, you're going to do this. It's not difficult, you understand? Like I said, you can use ChatGPT, you can use Google, but they are free. Everything I did here is entirely free. And if you type, let, let me show you something. If you, if you go to Google and type, um, gone with the wind, gone with the wind, oh, sorry. You see, type gone with the wind book summary. You're going to see summaries that people have written already, right? You see, gone with the wind book summary. So your own, your own summary. Let's say in the next one, two months or less than that, if your summary is comprehensive, you, you know, it could appear here, like one of these searches. It's going to appear, that's your medium summary, this summary like this is going to appear on Google search like this. You understand? Then another thing is it doesn't need to have, doesn't have to appear here for people to probably and find it. People can go to uh, what do they call it or medium. People go to medium to search for stuff. They could go there and type this once they type this gone with the wind, your um, your summary is going to pop up. Right? So you have um, chances. Like I said you can try YouTube if it's possible, I'm going to do the same thing again on YouTube differently, like entirely different. Like I'm going to start from scratch, but I need to try it out first before I come here and attempt it, you know. Then for the sake of time, uh, I can't do YouTube today, plus I need to try it. So that's it, basically. If you have any question, uh, you put in the comment section. Um, this is something, this, this idea got to me, I think, Five minutes before, <laughs> five minutes before I went on this live, I wanted to come on live and talk about business. There was I wanted to give some business tips, but I was just like, this idea just popped to my head. Like you've done this before, you know, until you lost the medium account and everything. Can you do the same thing maybe with AI this time? That was why I thought this. So I was not really ready for this. The slide you see, which is this slide. I did it in less than two minutes. <laughs> I just had to do it. You understand? So, please, you need to really do a whole lot of work from your end. You understand? You need to find other mediums. Uh, you could, um, you could do. Okay, there's this idea that popped into my head. Yes, 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 yes. This is going to be awesome. I should add. Let me add it here. Let me add it. If you want me to add that idea here, let me see it in the comment section. If you want me to add the idea, the one I'm, I just thought of now, is going to that one is going to make a whole lot of sense. Tell me now. So, yes, I want to see add the idea to this uh, presentation. <laughs> if nobody, if I don't see a comment, I will end this live now. <laughs> so let me see that comment. Tell me now. So add the new idea that just popped into your head. It's not a new idea actually, but it's. It's something we can um, infuse into this one and then um, kick off. You can use it to, okay, and Jedi that say them, I should add it, okay? Let me see one other person, maybe one person, okay. Ajira said I should add it, and who else again? Kojo said, drop it, drop it like it's hot, right? <laughs> okay, um, let me, let's do it quickly. Now, see what you're going to do. This one is another idea that we, He's going to, I think he's going to convert. He's going to make a whole lot of sense. Hmm? We're going to call it the Facebook TO, Facebook group plus book summary idea. You understand? I'm going to, I've added it already. So we're going to call it Facebook group plus book summary idea, right? So see what we're going to do now. Instead of going to, Facebook groups to do the same thing, like just pick the book summary and put your link and everything. They are going to block you. Sincerely speaking, they are going to remove you from the group. So see what we're going to do now. We're going to find Facebook groups in that where people come together and read books. You know, that means you could type um, you could type books, maybe book readers club on Facebook. You join all those groups, right? You join all those groups. Let's go to, let me see if we can, if I can, can get to Facebook and let's do this practically. I don't know, my network is um, a bit slow. 
sorry. Okay, before it loads, before it loads, um, let me, okay, let me just give you a summary of the idea, right? Okay, so see what we're going to do. You're going to take the summary. Well, I'm going to use the same summary. We'll put it in a PDF format, right? When we put the summary in a PDF format, we'll now add the link of our affiliates to that PDF. Like, as if, okay, this is a PDF, and you could go to those Facebook groups, those um, readers where people come to convert to read books and the rest of them convert. You know those readers, all those Oyibo people. You go and join those groups. So you could create a post like something like, um, I created a summary. Hmm? I created a summary of Gone with the Wind. Please, can you help me to review it? You understand? You're not acting as if you're selling it, anything to them. You tell, you tell them something like, can you help me to review this um, summary? You know, so they will click it, they'll click on the link. That link would contain the PDF. You're not using it direct, you're not giving them anything. So they will download that PDF. And when they read it, you understand? Or you could tell them, please, can you give me a summary? Can you give me a review on this summary? I'm creating this summary for something or any of those things. Then you come to the comment section and put the link, like finally um, click here and check the summary in the PDF. So what you would have done is you're taking that summary, put it in a PDF format, and added your link, your affiliate link. So when they read it, when they read the summary, you now put, you can say something like, click here to read the full book, you know, or you could, you could say something like, if you've been looking for a summary on this book, you know, I have the summary in a PDF format. If you want to type interested, you know, people will come to the comment section and type interested. You could go to your, to your DM and drop it, you know, um, 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 one by one, something like that, because the people that convert in these book readers groups, all those Americans, they love books a lot, you understand? So you can, this could be your job, like you get the summaries for them, you know, some of the books, some of the books might be books from, from the past, like old books, it could be new books, it could be any kind of book, you just need to dig for that. So let's do, let's see if we can convert, let's see if we can do that conversion to a PDF sharply. So let's use Google Doc for this. I think Google Doc is going to work better. So this is my Google Doc. I'm going to go back here to Bad, Google Bad and copy. Remember we did our summary, copy our summary. So come to Google Doc and click this plus sign so that we can create a new document and convert it to PDF. Sharp, 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 you know, no stress. So let's, we're going to convert it to PDF and then um, it's going to make a whole lot of sense. So let's do this. Uh, you could do the same thing, put the pictures, like make it like a book, like, you know, it's going to look very sharp, you understand? So um, I've pasted um, the summary, let's wait for it to load. So if it loads, if it loads, then um, we're going to convert it, do one or two editing and convert it to, why is it not pasted? Why, why, why? What's it happening? Let me copy it again. I don't know. What is happening today? Okay. I don't know why it's not pasted. Let me try. Um, let me try again. This is, this, this is frustrating me. <laughs> Google Doc. You could use Canva for this. I'm just using Google Doc, so it's going to be quite simple. I don't want to go the design route, like using so much designs and everything. But you could use Canva to do your PDF, you understand, very quickly. So let's see if it's going to paste again. Why is it not pasted? Let me see if I'll copy it from here. I don't know why it's not pasting. 
Um, this is the start name. Okay, I think <laughs> copying for Google bad that was a problem. So this is our summary, right? Um, we could insert our image here all over again. I didn't plan for this, so anyhow, in a CV, we wanna take up. So we come to insert and pick our image from the computer. Um, this is our image. You know, we want to print, we want to convert this to a PDF, sharp, sharp. So you see. You could um, change the fonts to make it beautiful. Like I said, you could you see the, the other image um, was uploaded with it too, was copied with it. So you could change the fonts and you know just play with it in any way you want. You understand? You see, I've changed the fonts. So you could do something like this, then go to, um, let's say, let me get to the title, Gone with the Wind. All right, so you go to File, when you go to File, you come to Download, when you come to Download, you go to PDF Document. So when you click PDF Document, document it downloads, it's going to download this as a PDF. Now it's like a book, you understand, like a like an ebook. So when let's open this um, in PDF format and see what it gave us. You see, so it's in PDF format now. You see, sweet, <laughs> very short and sweet. You understand? So it's like the summary. So you go to those Facebook groups, right? Go to those Facebook groups and find some find something captivating so that they can download this PDF and do the same thing. But you should do it in a group where readers or where writers, where you find a whole lot of writers, you understand? But don't copy the summary and paste in the group because they are going to see it as spam. They are going to, they might not approve your post, right? So you just, you're coming in as a normal person. Like, I create summaries. Please, can you guys help me to read the summaries and probably read the full book? You can include it there that. Um, I still have the full book that you can, you know, anyway, you walk around it. But that is the idea that popped into my head. Facebook groups plus book summary, right? Um, that means uh, you could use Facebook groups, you could use a uh, medium, you could use YouTube to do the same thing. Um, you could um, try Pinterest. I don't know if Pinterest is going to work. You could, um, you could come to, um, you could use Instagram, you could use any of the social media platforms, maybe tell people that, that um, if you're looking for the book summary for social thing, download this PDF, you know that kind of thing. You could use this PDF method instead of, uh, I think um, instead of putting your direct link here, you can use this PDF. You can download, you can, you can use a link to this PDF on your medium, I think that would be better. So if you want to put this PDF in a link, it's quite easy. You could use Google Drive, um, go to your Google Drive, because I know some people would struggle with that. So you go to your Google Drive and um, upload that PDF. So you have a link, you're going to have a link that you can share, right, with people to download it. You could use mediafire.com, you could use Google Drive, but Google Drive is, is quite easy to navigate um okay so this is our google drive you come to new and um you come to file upload i thought <laughs> i thought this presentation would just be for like 15 20 minutes it's getting close to one hour so you come to you see the gone with the wind this is our pdf right so you click on it and you're going to see where you copy your your link so it has uploaded it has uploaded then this is it sorry so this is it gone with the wind so right click on it and then go to share um share 
when you go to share you go to copy link but when you go to share if you're using google drive when you go to share don't forget to um, click on this share option so that you can unlock the link so that people can access it so when you come here you remove it from restricted put it in with select this option anyone with the link when you select it you click on done you know then you could copy the link um, again copy the link so when you copy that link um this is what the link is going to look like let's come back to let's come back to our story let's say we want to edit this story uh, we click here edit story so i can add that link that pdf link i think this pdf link will be better for so we'll come here and edit this link um okay I don't know. I'll have to. Okay, this is it basically. Like you can, you can, you can use um, the PDF link. Um, okay, let's 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 fit something like this. Okay, let's say I want to insert that link, the Google um, Drive link where that contains the PDF. I want to insert it inside book, for instance. So you come the link like we did so this is my google drive link i've inserted it there so it's inside this book now so you could do something like this instead of using the bitly link and the rest of them you know you could do something like this so they download the pdf and read to the end you know that kind of thing so um that's it basically let me see if i have some comments i'll be rounding off um, so soon if you have a question if you have a question kindly drop in the comment section because i will be rounding off in a few minutes like i said i don't even know how to publish this on facebook <laughs> i hope i hope i can I, I can get this published on facebook like so it's not going to disappear because they said it, it wasn't recording or so so um if you have any question and uh, if you have any comment or anything you drop so that I'm going to round up for today. I have other things to do. I this is one hour plus. Wow, <laughs> this is awesome. So if you gained anything, put in the comment section and tell me what you gained, and then um, ask ask your questions so that I'm going to end. Please, you people should allow me to go, but I need your comments so that I can round up for today. Take out time, read this all over again. Read. I'm sorry. Go through the replay all over again and see how you can maneuver these things but it, this thing is, this thing is very easy like the, the good thing about these methods is that it's going to make you very creative like it opens up your brain the creative side of you you just be doing it and you just realize that wow i need to add this i need to remove this i need to you're just going to get creative about it you know so this is um this is something that would work if you, if you implement it properly right i'm not seeing any comment yet or is it my network Okay, um, I think I'm going to end at this point because I have a meeting. I have a Zoom meeting to join, to jump on the next three minutes. So um, I gained so much and I'll be trying it out. I'll replay the video to get more. I lost track when the network went bad. Okay, Hajara, Hajara came from the beginning of this live and um, has stayed till the end. Thank you so much, Hajara. Uh, Mr. Fidelis, oh, my chairman. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Fidelis. Um, said great job, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Richard, 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 thank you so much. You can say this is great, sir. Thank you. But do you think keyword research is necessary to make the medium post rank higher? Yes, it's 100% necessary. But I didn't want to go into that because keyword, keyword research, putting the keywords and everything is a whole conversation on its own. But I think um, the 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 um, the summary, sorry, the title alone, like book summary by so so so, you know, is going to go to an extent. But if you're listening to this, please 
try and watch, go to YouTube and watch a few videos on how to use keywords, like basic keywords, so that you can insert it in the article. And you're going to, because lots of people would have, may, may have done summaries on, on this book. So your own summary would be ranking either on Medium or in Google, you understand? So that was what Richard was trying to point out. So you can, but you don't need to learn keyword research so deeply. Just learn it, learn it basically, like basic keyword research, how to use the right keywords and everything. You can learn that on Google and insert it in your article that you'll be published on this, in the summary that you'll be publishing on um, Medium, you know? Like I said, uh, you still have the options of using social media platforms like Facebook, Facebook groups, you know, you go there and ask them to download mm -hmm. and everything. It's not going to be intrusive as if you're intruding them with a link. No, it's a PDF. They could just give their idea and everything. You have to walk your way around all this. And then um, this is the end of my presentation. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. God bless you for joining. I appreciate you. Uh, without you, I wouldn't have done this successfully. And um, in the coming days, I think the reason why I did this, another reason why I did this was because most of the, I realized that most of the, most of the hacks I share, maybe those small, like the one I shared this morning on my, on my timeline, I realized that some people were asking lots of questions. So I'll be, what I'll do is maybe if I share it, I'll take the same method and make a live section like this on it. That means I'll have to go back to, there's one method I talked about, Quora plus affiliate marketing. I'm going to do something like this for that one. I'm going to do something like this for the one I did yesterday. Or, you know, the one I shared this morning. I'm going to probably do a live section like this for all of them. So that for the people that are having issues with implementing, you're going to see it step by step, like live, right? So um, I love you all. God bless you.